In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and process unscheduled pay runs in Xero. The unscheduled pay run feature is a great tool to use to make any adjustments in payroll without reverting pay runs to draft. Reverting pay runs to draft can cause problems later on when you come to prepare your payment summaries at 30 June or when you come to prepare your tax. Unscheduled pay runs allow you to make adjustments to your employee's payments if a mistake has been made on a pay run or if a pay run has been missed in a particular pay period. Um, when using unscheduled pay runs, you can add items that have been missed or perhaps you can you need to reverse a certain pay slip because a wage item was excluded. Maybe the employee didn't put in their annual leave on time or an incomplete timesheet was selected when running your pay runs. Either way, pay run, an unscheduled pay run is a great tool to use. So when you log into Xero, you're going to select payroll on the top toolbar and the drop down menu will appear. Once that appears, click pay runs. This is the same process you use when you run normal pay runs in your company. And then when you and then you select add pay runs under the video tutorial that appears, select that, and you're going to select unscheduled pay run versus any other calendar you normally use. Two other drop down menus will appear and you will select a calendar that's most appropriate for this um, for your unscheduled pay run. I'm going to select weekly because a week in the 10th of January 2016 a, a week's pay was not included for two, my two employees so I need to go back and fix that up. So once we're happy with the calendar we then select the pay period so in this case it's the 10th of January 2016. You notice that there's only a limited amount of dates that appear once you select an unscheduled pay run. If for instance uh, a date prior to the, the earliest date shown there is the date you want to select maybe in this case instead of it being the 10th of January that I want to adjust I want to adjust the 31st of December, you'll have to create a payroll calendar and prior to running the pay or unscheduled pay run. I will show you how to do this after I process this normal unscheduled pay run. So once we've, we're happy with the date we've selected, the calendar and selecting unscheduled pay run, we're going to click next. This will take us to the screen where we then select the employees we want to include on this unscheduled pay run. I want to select Odette and Tracy because they were both excluded from the pay run that occurred on the 10th of January. So then as we can see here on this screen, Tracy has nil balance. She, I know she didn't get paid a nil balance, so I'm going in and adjusting it. I know she worked 40 hours that week and tab across and her total net pay is 775 which is correct and I'm going to click save. Once we're happy with that we can go down the bottom and select close and I'm happy knowing that the net pay for both employees for that week is 1227 because that's how much that um, that came out of our bank account. So I'm going to post that pay run just as I would as a normal pay run and I'm going to select yes. Once you're happy with your unscheduled pay run you can email it to your employees as you normally do. You can print off the pay slips it's, or if you've made an adjustment you don't have to do any of those things. So I'm going to select close and that's it. That's how you process an unscheduled pay run. But now I'm going to show you how to process an unscheduled pay run with a prior period date. So I also know not only did the 10th of January get excluded, the 31st of Jan uh, December was also excluded from the pay runs. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So the first step in processing an unscheduled pay run for a prior period, you want to select payroll settings under the settings tab in Xero. So select payroll settings it's just taking a little time to load. Okay once it's loaded we're going to select calendars 
and we're going to add a pay calendar. In this case, it's going to be weekly because that's when my organisation pays our employees weekly. And just a note here, when you select the name of the pay calendar for the unscheduled pay run you're about to run, choose something that you don't, choose a name that you don't usually use for your other calendar that you normally do per pay runs. So in this case, my weekly calendar is just called weekly calendar. Once I run this unscheduled pay run with this pay calendar, it's going to lock and it's going to appear in my selection when I go to process pay runs on a normal basis. I don't want this because I could confuse zero and there could be multiple calendars running at once. So to make your life easier, I usually select do not use because I know this is only for emergency situations or situations where you only need to use an unscheduled pay run or make adjustments due to errors. So once I'm happy with that, I know the start date was just was the Tuesday the, the 24th of November and the first payment date is the 1st of December 2015. Okay, I'm going to click add. Okay, and we go back to payroll and click pay runs. Prior to, before you do this, you also need to select the calendar for the employees. So you've got to add this calendar onto the employee's profile, otherwise it, there will be no employees to select. I can show you what you mean, what I mean. So if we go to add a pay run at the moment and select unscheduled, and then select calendar weekly do not use and we want the 14th of December click next there are no employees included this is a bit of a problem but don't worry I can show you how to fix it so if we go to payroll and click employees and click Odette And then select employment. The calendar we want to use for this employee is going to be the weekly do not use. We have to remember to change it back once we've run our unscheduled pay run for that period. Otherwise she won't appear on the normal pay calendar. Once we have made the appropriate adjustments to Odette's payroll calendar, we go back to our pay run screen and click on the draft pay run that we've already created and Odette's name appears we've just got to click that she's included in this pay particular pay run and I'm happy with the net pay being $645 because that's how much I know she is owed and I'm going to post that pay run as I would a normal pay run for any other period and click yes and if we go back to our pay run screen, I can see that the weekly calendar do not use is sitting there knowing that that's one of the unscheduled pay runs I ran. And that's how you process an unscheduled pay run. If you need any help, please feel free to visit our website or contact our office. Thank you for watching.